What's up America? Neil here with Jogger Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to talk about a product that I generally shy away from. I'm going to have to eat a little crow today because I talk uh, not highly of these types of products, but this one is a winner. So let's get started. What are we talking about? We're talking about CLP products. Now, I've been a big proponent against buying gun-specific stuff. I think, and I still do, uh, gun cleaner, I'm sorry, gun lubricant is a total ripoff. I don't care who makes it, it's a joke. Uh, you buy a little bottle of oil that's, I mean, you, you say it's three or four dollars, but there's only an ounce or two in there. So when you think about it, a whole quarter of that would cost you, you know, $200. That's insane. And it is not any better than the oils that you typically buy for your vehicle. You could go buy a whole quarter of high performance racing oil, which I typically recommend people do, or what I usually used to use, which is grease. Okay, I like grease because it stays where, where I put it and all that kind of good jazz. Now, when it came to cleaning products, I just used basic copies. Uh, you could find it anywhere. It wasn't a big deal. Did the job okay, and that was that. Uh, now, the other products that I know when I say CLP, I know, you know, the, the big one out there that everyone uses, I've never been a fan of that particular type. I don't think it cleans well at all. I think um, as a lubricant, it's okay. Not any better than what you would buy at a, like I said, an auto parts store. Uh, as far as protecting, it seems to dissipate pretty quick. So never been a fan of that. All right. And I'm going to, again, I have to eat some crow on this one. So uh, there's this company, Cleanse Oil. Okay. And I used their products a couple times and I was very, very impressed. So much so that uh, I asked them to send me some stuff so we could talk about it. Um, it is a CLP product, but what I really like about this particular uh, product is how well it cleans, okay? Yes, it lubricates very well and, and it stays on a long time. I don't know why it stays on. It seems to be longer than any other oil type products that I typically use, but it does. But what I'm really attracted to on this product is that you can use it on almost anything. The only thing that they recommend you not use it on is painted surfaces. Uh, but other than that, you can use it on leather. I mean, I literally wiped my center console down with it one time because I spilled something on it and it did an amazing job. It, uh, leather holsters, any type of leather equipment, if you uh, have any duty equipment or anything like that, it does a great, great job with that. And of course, it's good for your metal products and, uh, and also synthetics. So if you, you, you know, you can wipe your, your, your polymer frame down or you can get it on your stock of your gun or whatever the case is. Pretty much this will clean just about all gun surfaces and it does a darn fine job at doing so. So what I really like about this is the cleaning aspect of it. Now, here's another, I, I, again, I'm going to show you a variety of different things that they sent me here. Uh, we'll go through them one by one. I've used pretty much everything here. Um, this one I always kind of tease people because I thought it was silly. And what these are is these are the pre-soaked wipes, right? And I always thought, geez, that's so dumb. Uh, people spend way more money on this. There's hardly, I mean, think about it, there's wipes in here, but when you get a bottle like this, there's a lot more product. Why don't you just buy this, if this, uh, with getting all this fluid in here and just put it on a paper towel, right? Well, I love this product. It's probably one of my favorite things. It is so convenient. It's so nice. You pop it open, you get one out. They're really saturated. Uh, it's really nice for wiping the exteriors down, wipe. I'm, I'm in the field, you know, doing a training class or something, uh, just to get, clear something out, they got mud in or something. These things are awesome. And what I find is that you're going to find a whole bunch of uses even beyond just guns, just tools and equipment. And I use these in the garage all the time. And this has become one of my favorite products. So, and if I ever teach you in the past, eh, I guess I had that coming. All right. Nonetheless, then we have, um, we have uh, a, diff a whole bunch of different applicators. We're going to bring the camera over closer here, and we'll take a look here. So we'll start off here. This is the, um, the foam, the foamer. Uh, I like the foamer for especially doing uh, gun bolts, like AR bolts, where you, you kind of want that to stick on there for a while and soak in and really get that carbon off. Uh, but basically, you, you shake this stuff up. It's got a, uh, a small nozzle on it, and then it's, uh, it's a pretty good foam. And then it just kind of slowly turns back to its oil and really breaks up some carbon. Unfortunately, we just did a training class and I ended up cleaning all, the, all my gear and then thought about this video. So I apologize, I don't really have anything, but throughout uh, the next couple months here and there, we'll do some, uh, some product cleaning stuff. So we have the foam. Uh, then they have, of course, the big, uh, this is just the liquid. 
This is uh, eight fluid ounces, okay? Just your general stuff. Then we've got more, this is more foamer, but in the smaller, oh, they really put that one on there. Um, more convenient size, if you will. So again, same deal there, a little aerosol can. Then we've got uh, the even yet a smaller little spray bottle of the, of the stuff. Now this one is really cool. Another thing that I thought was hokey as heck, um, I've never bought one of these in my life and people use them. It's got that little, it's got a rubber cap on there there, and then it's got the little tiny metal tip on it. I find this to be so, so useful. Um, one of the things that I like to do, especially if I haven't cleaned the gun for a while, because honestly, I should clean guns a lot more than I do, um, is to get some oil down on the rails. So I just lock the slide of the rear. I'll take this little dropper, let's sit it on each side of the rail, let it soak down into the down down the rail, rack it a few times, and I'm back in business. So this is uh, plus the little tiny areas getting inside where there may be uh, a little nook and cranny you want to get into. I again I find more uses for this than I ever thought I would. Okay, so all of those. Now we have. They sent me this. It's pretty cool. It's a little tactical kit. All right. And again, it comes right from Cleanse Oil. We'll put links up there, but they have a pretty nice website. Talks about the product and how it was invented and all that good stuff. Um, so I'm not going to bore you with that. You can check it out on your own. There's, there's lots of good information on why it does what it does. But this is kind of cool. On the back here, it's got legit Molly, uh, Molly straps here. It's got um, side Velcro, so you can pretty much attach this guy in any configuration, any type of gear bag that you that you'd want. It even has a patch here for a name or, or whatever you'd like. And then a little quick uh, open pouch up here. So this is one of the best, I would say, put together kits, if you will. So come on over to the bench here. Uh, let's take a look at what's inside, okay? So here we have, it actually comes in a nice, uh, nice plastic case, okay? And inside are all your accoutrements, all your tools, okay? Little picks and bore brushes and chamber cleaners and all that good stuff. Pretty standard fare there, but uh, it's all nicely laid out. It's all kept together, which is really nice. Um, this pouch, is, or this plastic part is really well on there. I think it's either screwed or, but it's definitely not coming off, which is nice. All right, then we open up the pouch here on the left. And again, we've got another little bottle of uh, cleanse oil, so you can never, never have too much of that. Um, th okay, this is kind of funny. It's, it looks like a lipstick deal. It kind of is. It's just a little brush thing. I don't really know what you would use that for. I don't know. Maybe I don't cling to that detail, but I guess that's pretty cool. We got some patches in here. You can always add all more of your patches and types of stuff like that. No big deal there. Um, this is what's cool because if you've never used these guys before, these are the uh, cleaning wires that uh, you can use to actually clean the barrels out of, of um, or your bores out with pistols or rifles. Then, and we have another little makeup brush in here again for getting in all kinds of, these obviously could be useful. We've got a, a, an actual rod that we can assemble Okay, and then here's the uh, the handle that you would use to that, and then you can you can apply those patches or these brushes and whatnot to it. The other thing you can do uh, is by just using this wire is you're going to actually attach your. We'll just grab one out. You just grab your uh, your bristle, attach that, unwind this. Probably not super exciting, but unwind this, and then you can actually pull this through. You know your pistol. So if you want to go that route, you certainly can. So whether you want to use the hard, uh, you know, the, the guide, the, the rod style, or you just want to pull it through for convenience, either way you go, uh, they got you covered here. So a nice little complete kit, uh, and it has all its little stuff that you can stick it all back together again. So keep everything handy where you, where you need it. So you're not losing anything, especially if you do any type of cleaning in the field or what have you, to fix a gun, which we've done more than I'd like to say. All right, guys, so I said that uh, I didn't have anything to clean, but it dawned on me. Uh, before that production, that video, and two days after that, I was going to do a rifle class. So I figured let's hold off on this video, do the class, and then I will show you uh, cleaning uh, an AR-15 with it. Um, one of the things that sold me on this product originally is I was, at a, it was in the back of a gun shop, and we were taking apart a rental gun that was used and abused. It was an AR, and you guys know that shoot ARs, that's a, a lot of carbon is built up, especially in that bolt. And so using this for the first time, that's what really got me to go, wow, this is uh, really good stuff. So... Let's take a look uh, up close. 
I'm gonna wear some white rubber gloves so it's be easy to see a little contrast for you guys. And uh, let's see how it works. All right, so we have the, uh, I was running the Saint. By the way, this is the uh, Strike Eagle by OpMod. So if you're interested in, uh, in that product, we have a review on that as well coming out. But let's take this bad boy apart and clean it up. So this has got uh, a couple hundred rounds through it. Uh, I'd say about 500, okay? Uh, one of the things that's actually very impressive that you'll notice here is that uh, any carbon that I do have, I can just wipe it right off. And that's one of the uh, really selling points of this product is that if you use it, uh, especially as almost like a protectant, it makes cleaning so much better. This is not a nickel boron, I mean, this is a, a nickel boron coated um, uh, fire control group, but not a nickel boron uh, bolt carrier group. So uh, that combined with that uh, cleanse oil that's on there, the carbon really just any kind of soot or anything just wipes right off of there. So let's get in the bolt carrier group where it's really messy and see what we got. And so the doctor, is in the house. All right, so let's take a look at our bulk carrier group here. There is our firing pin. So not too terribly bad, but uh, you can see just by uh, all the water and the, the cleanse oil, this was a really wet, rainy class. And so I was very impressed to see how much that that cleanse oil just stayed kind of to the to the steel itself. You can just see this is just basically wiping off. It's it's pretty uh, pretty incredible. I'm pretty impressed with that. Well, let's keep uh, let's keep going here. All right, let's see what we got here. So the main culprit for ARs, as you guys know, right in here. So let's uh, let's start to uh, let's use the foamer. So shake this up a little bit here. And we'll use the foamer and just let it sit on there. Coat this whole thing. Why not? Okay. Uh, since we already got our charging handle, let's throw some on there. Whoops. Okay, let that work in there. Get this uh, firing pin good and coated. Pivot pin. This bolt, uh, like I said, it, it's just a regular phosphate bolt, nothing too fancy. Standard from uh, from Springfield. Really, really high quality uh, product though. Really happy with the Saint and also the Saint pistol, but I digress. So we're gonna let that soak for just a minute or two. Uh, as you guys know from uh, earlier in the video, there's a bunch of different applicators. So if you wanted to, if there was some small spring or something that you needed to lubricate, uh, that little needle point is really good for that. Uh, just done a couple ways to, app, to apply it. So one thing that I found, uh, if you guys ever get a, a really bad, uh, maybe you bought it or whatever, or you haven't cleaned your, your, your bolt for a long time, and you get a lot of that crappy uh, carbon built up there, take a rubber glove, cut it at the finger, okay, fill it up with some cleanse oil, and then rubber band it, and let it sit for you know a couple hours overnight, whatever you want. And then the next next day or a couple hours later, uh, you're going to find that this stuff is going to wipe right off. Okay. In our case here, it's only been a few minutes. Again, like I said, it's 500 rounds, not the end of the world. Um, and it's a fairly new gun, so we're just going to take our brush here, wipe it down good. So here's the area we really want to focus on. All right. That's where a lot of that carbon builds up. And honestly, there's, it's almost pointless. There's just, the stuff really just wipes right off. And I think that uh, that's a testament to having the product on there before uh, we even start shooting. That really makes a big, big difference as far as how much it wipes off um, and keeps that build up down. You can see how shiny those uh, gas rings are. Really looks almost, uh, almost new. Let's take a look. Uh, we'll come back to that. Here's our bolt. Um, I'm a bolt. I'm sorry, our firing pin. I'm going to hit this real quick. And I'm just using the brass wire brush. Hardly any pressure at all. Alright, let's, let's see what we got here. Wipe this down. I mean, that is impressive. I mean, take a look close up on this here. Hold on, I'm put my hand here. That is like brand new. 
shiny. Uh, that's pretty impressive. Take a look at this uh, bolt now. And you can see the, the crap, just the crud and the carbon wiping right off. I wish you could feel that because it, it just feels smooth. There's not a lot of that rough carbon buildup on there. Okay. So it looks really good. Minimal carbon of any kind on there. I mean, you can see uh, we got the carbon off here. Inside there, that is just clean and shiny. I know the light probably doesn't pick up too well on the camera, but that's, uh, that's pretty incredible. Hey guys, one little tip here. I guess this is kind of going beyond just a cleaning video, but one little tip is uh, I don't really lubricate anything inside the trigger mechanism per se. Uh, all we want is a nice dry springs in there. Anywhere we put oils and stuff, it's going to collect carbon, build up no matter whose it is. I don't really get in there and maybe left, you dropped it in salt water or something like that. Uh, but just for regular use, even in the rain, I don't really mess around uh, with the springs too much inside there to keep that clean and dry. Uh, same thing with the buffer tube. I don't really do anything with that as well. All right, so now we've got a couple ways we can uh, lubricate this and put this back together. Cleanse oil does make it grease, by the way. And I've always been a big fan of grease. Um, maybe we'll, I'll get a hold of some of that and we'll give that a try. But so far, it's what we got. So spray this up, put a little on there. Okay. It just falls into place. This thing is so cleaned and lubed up. We're good to go. Put our pin back in. All right, so we're all back together here. Get a little bit more. I like to get all the rails. Top and bottom. All right, so we're back together. Running smooth, looks great. Uh, for the finish, by the way, if you want uh, to wipe this down, you can kind of see there's water spots in here. Again, it's been outside in the rain all day. I'm gonna take the uh, wipes. I'm not gonna show you that, but uh, give it a good wipe down with that and then just dry it off and put a little protective film on there and we are good to go. One experience I've had that I wanted to share is I have an old, uh, it was my father's uh, Vietnam revolver, and so it's an old Smith & Wesson model, whatever, I'm not, I'm not into that. But anyway, it has wooden handles on it, it's, it's very, very nice, a keepsake, and uh, it was getting a little rough on the, on the edges, so to speak, so I soaked that, everything, including the wood, everything down with uh, cleanse oil, and it looks like it's amazing. It's like a brand new gun. It looks amazing. The steel, it's still, it's been six, well, let's say, yeah, about four months. And it's still coated on there. It hasn't dissipated yet. The wood looks amazing. The wood looks like it was refinished. So uh, it, it did a really great job. So if it does a good job on that, and then of course I've used it on all my current guns and all my polymer guns, and I'm very, very pleased. So again, although I've never been a big, uh, CLP type of guy or go out and buy gun products. I, I think this one's a winner because of its cleaning capabilities and it does everything else just as well as any other lubricant or protection out there. So pick yourself up some cleanse oil. You will not be sorry, I promise. Hope you guys found this helpful. You know where to find us guys. Facebook, Twitter, Patreon gets all our A-team stuff. Instagram. Thank you, Kim helped me out there on Instagram. What else, am I missing? Twitter. What? Twitter. Twitter, we're tweeting, we're tweeters now. So. Remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6.